So hi everyone, it's me, Shadow Lefty here, and for today's reaction, I am going to be, as at least two of you have, two people, let me say that, have voted for me to be reacting to The Walton Files. That is going to be what I'm going to be reacting to, and, what, and I'm going to be reacting to two of their newest. And yeah, so, so once again, of course... The Walton Files. And. The, the first one I'm going to be reacting to. That I'll be watching. watching will be the souvenir. And before I press play. I think that that's good. And yeah, let's get right into it. Danny. Okay, so that was it for that, and and yeah, so definitely right before I go to the next one, just to be getting slash making. Just so I can be making this video longer than it will probably be. Just kind of want to be saying that that looked amazing. And yeah, I'm act and I'm not, and I am actually really happy that that he or they are making more. That that there is some starting, and this was like a month or a month of two, if I'm correct on saying that, or maybe even a week whatever but yeah so so yeah so once again that was that was basically souvenir seven souvenir souvenir whatever the word was but yeah so let's get right into right into the next one so so now for the second Walton file video that i'm going to be Reacting to is Spectacle and the Walton Files Mini Soda. Mini Soda. Like, that's kind of a mouthful, but I said it. I got, I, I was able to say it, but yeah, so, and, and yeah, so, so let's get right into it. And this one is definitely longer, seeing it as it's, Four minutes and eleven seconds. So let's get right into it. Thank you, Mervin. This is Christine Marshall reporting to Eyewitness at Nine. Okay. Now, what you're looking at originated as a small, rundown mom and pop business. If you're among the small brain community, you may have heard of Long's Burgers, a well known entertainment center that, in fact, hosted birthday parties and events in this very building. Now, if you know about this place, you also probably know about the infamous reasons its run was so short-lived. Mm -hmm. Four months ago, around the summertime, this place opened its doors to the public for the first time, and less than a month later, it would shut its doors to public permanently. But why and how? Let's find out. Okay. My kid went there a few months ago to celebrate his birthday party. I remember only a few months later, all those rumors would appear. Oh, I don't go there. Oh, it's haunted. But frankly, I never believe in those stuff myself. I just think it was this neat place, but hey, everyone can believe what they want, I guess. As we interview the people around town, one thing becomes more and more evident. Barnes Burger supposedly held a lot of secrets. As soon as this little burger joint opened its doors, a strange and disturbing chain of disappearances began to unravel, mm -hmm. all linked to one specific pattern, its parent company, Bunny Smells Incorporated. Six total missing reports filed around the summer, all equally stressful and intriguing. 
I believe it reached a breaking point when Jack Walton, the co-founder, was declared missing. Oh. He must have come to that place at least ten times in those two weeks alone. Then three more missing reports about missing employees. They disapprove, however, the spectacle you people have been making about real disappearances. Oh. You know, it's disheartening, and uh, I don't wish to comment on anything else. Mm -hmm. Soon the urban legends would originate. Ghost stories about missing employees, presumed dead, haunting the establishment. Soon all sorts of reports would appear. Loud music being played late in the night, way past the restaurant's closing time. Car alarms and lights being kept on around midnight, confusing many people nearby and causing them uh -huh. to keep a close eye mm. on the place. However, it all culminated on the night of July 19th. As witnesses state, there were blood curdling screams of an adult woman heard around two to three. Oh, a.m. that was. Once oh. the police arrived and broke into the restaurant, no one was inside. A few days later, the place shut down due to budget reasons, mm -hmm. allegedly, at least. But the urban stories say much different. It's suspected that those screams belong to one Rosemary Walton, a woman that disappeared earlier that same day, yeah. never to be found. After some time, the building has been deemed condemned. Nobody really seems interested in using the space as the drawing stories and theories are believed to drive people away. Only break-ins and vandalizing occur inside this defunct building. Though these theories still remain, that those disappearances still taunt the aura of this very place, and whatever the truth may be, the disturbing presence of Bonds Burgers has... I'm still here. Can you go now? Well, I guess, can I go now? Oh, okay. Okay, so let me just do that. So yeah, so I'm still here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so yeah, so that was, so yeah, that was, um, okay, so it's not going to be showing me the name again, but okay, so yeah, so that was my, I guess, technically two reactions to, basically two reactions to the Walton Files to newest videos, and yeah, so I kind of really right now don't know what I I could be saying for this, but for to be ending this off. But I guess first, of course, I will say I hope you all enjoyed, of course, and and I will definitely try and well, not really try, but like I really don't know what the heck I should be saying for this, but yeah. I'm also kind of trying to let this linger just because I somehow want to be making this be, um, what it, whatever it is, um, be the thumbnail because I think this would be perfect. But yeah, so, so yeah, once again, I hope you all enjoyed and if you want me to watch more or even just more stuff like this, let's try and get to two, maybe even three thumbs up and I will try and watch more of what well, possibly Walton file the Walton files other videos and basically stuff like that stuff like that but yeah so once again I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one and also actually I'm very sorry that this was short but I still really hope you enjoyed I guess my quick 
or I'll also just say, um, I will possibly leave my Discord link, if I'm able to, down in the description, just because I do also want to be trying to not just be making polls on my community tab and just be having it that I would love for for people people to be able to be leaving me or telling me oh from this channel oh can you do a reaction to this and just more reaction ideas um that I can be possibly doing and I would really love to be doing that but now I really am going to be saying I I truthfully hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one. Slash tomorrow. Goodbye.